welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i'm bringing back the supermarket series today if you remember i think it was about this time last year i decided to do a bit of a supermarket series series <laughs> of videos on my channel whereby i hit all the supermarkets ransacked their fashion and homeware and basically did individual hauls now i'm not really going to do that today or over the next however many videos because i feel like i've got one kind of combined supermarket series or haul video for you today. I've been into Aldi not too long ago, got loads of amazing finds, so did a haul for that. I also featured loads of their homeware dupes because their dupings are at home, white company, everything like that. So I included that in my homeware dupes video I did recently. So I feel like I've done Aldi and I've popped into Sainsbury's, Tesco's and Asda over the last couple of weeks and not really got enough to do hauls for each of them. So I've decided to just combine it into one very long video. So make sure to sit back, relax, put your feet up, light the candles. I've got fireside burning. I've also got my coffee back here, which is from Cafe Nero. They've got these new Batman mugs in celebration of the new movie coming. Cinemas, in cinemas March 4th. I love a good cinema. Cinema date night trip. So anyway, I've got my decaf this morning because I went for a large, decided to go for decaf feel like caffeine can sometimes give me the shakes a little bit. So I like to just have a decaf when I'm going for a large coffee. I, where to start? In fact, I'll tell you where I'm gonna start. I've got something in the freezer, which I need to put back in the freezer. So I'm gonna run down, grab them, put them back in the freezer, and then get on with the haul. One second. Okay, these are bad boys picked up from Sainsbury's, so I feel like I might as well start with Sainsbury's and i'm impressed i'm not blown away the fact that these were hyped up however long ago it was so much and i've never seen them in stores since and then i spotted them i was like i'm gonna have to I have to get them there were only a few boxes on the shelves i went for both flavors that they had the passion fruit and mango and the creamy coconut of which i didn't know if i'd like the coconut of the two it's my favorite. I did have a couple last night, one of each. Little Moons, they're called. They're 69 and 81 calories per ball. Oh, why do I get so out of breath from running up the stairs? Is anyone else like that? I am had a comment recently, she must be pregnant. She's getting out of breath. No, I'm just out of breath from running up the stairs. These are ice cream wrapped in soft rice dough. I'm not sold on whether or not I'll buy them again because they are five pound per box. Moving on to the other bits that I got from Sainsbury's. One of the main things I was keeping my eyes peeled for was the news of Flora that they've brought out. Now, when they shared it on their Instagram, they did share that it was in available in Sainsbury's. So I don't know if they're in any other stores, but raspberry and juniper berry it sounds delightful especially moving into spring and i do quite like a fruity scent i don't like floral but i do like fruity red berries rhubarb hibiscus and creamy vanilla so it does sound lovely what i liked about this was that it's available in the smallest size you know when they bring out a new scent and it's only in the biggest bottle what if you don't like it oh no i love that that is very fruity not floral at all actually even though there's hibiscus flower very very fruity it's making me crave strawberries and raspberries that's what that's doing i picked up one item of clothing from sainsbury's of which it is from their active range seam free stretch leggings at 16 pounds i will note that i think the supermarket fashion shopping is expensive i mean you're comparing the prices to the likes of primark h&m and they're all verging on the same prices, but I feel like the high street stores like H&M and Primark, they just have that edge in terms of the style of clothes. Let me know if you agree with me that. It did have some lovely bits nonetheless, but I just thought quite expensive, that's all. Anyway, 16 pounds for these, so hopefully they'll fit nice and high-waisted, which is what I like. They did have a matching kind of crop top and they had uh, like a looser fit top as well. I ended up just going for the leggings because these are what I gravitate towards on an everyday basis. I actually love this chocolate color. It's kind of like a light mocha chocolate, isn't it? It's beautiful. So yeah, got some new leggings. That was the only fashion item I picked up from Sainsbury's. I started reading the Richard Osman 
Thursday Murder Club, which I'm really enjoying. I started reading it when we went away to the Lake District and I've not gone very far because I'm a very slow reader. And my main issue is picking up reading when I'm back home. Whenever I go away, I love nothing more than switching off, putting my phone down and picking up a book. But at home, I really struggle to do that. So anyway, it is one that I definitely want to continue reading though and I'm really enjoying. So once I finished reading it, I picked up the second one that he's done. So The Man Who Died Twice, the new Thursday Murder Club mystery. So it's kind of a follow on. It was £10. I also picked up two of the Flash sprays for pet lovers. The reason why I picked up two is because I actually find these quite hard to find the pet friendly ones and it's in the citrus fresh scent so it does smell lovely as well. I picked up this which I've seen in Sainsbury's before I decided to go for it because um, our rolling pin by the way it's an acrylic rolling pin have you ever seen that before because I hadn't our wooden rolling pin is actually too big for our cutlery drawer so you kind of have to put it in diagonally it just it annoys me. So I've decided to pick up a regular sized one and the fact that it's an acrylic one, I don't know, I just really liked the look of this. It was six pounds, which let's face it, you can get a rolling pin for far cheaper than that, but not an acrylic one. I did also pick up a mug. It was in sale as well, so I decided to pick it up. Love the style of it. It's very, as you can tell, artisan cafe style, minimal. I love the font. It's just black and white, nice and simple. And it's also the shape, very similar to the kind of Emma Bridgewater shape, which I quite like for a coffee. So it was in the sale, I think for about £2.75, something like that, £2.50. I did also pick up some naughty Easter treats. I know I'm a little bit early, but I just can't resist. Easter chocolate is my favourite. I have to resist buying Easter eggs for as long as possible because otherwise I would just get through too many because I'm not the sort of person that can save an Easter egg until Easter day. I picked up some of the Easter chocolates that they had. I'd never seen these before. I love the Tony's chocolate bars that they do. And I also got myself some little Reese's peanut butter cream eggs. This is quite a small bag, so I feel like this is a good portion. You know when you get a bigger bag of something, it can be quite hard to resist and put the bag back. Whereas this is just like a single portion size for so a dessert in an evening. In the drink aisle, I spotted this from Fever Tree. I love the aromatic tonic water that they do. It's like got Angostura bark in or something, the pink one. But I saw this and loved the sound of it. Spiced orange ginger ale. Not even as a mixer necessarily, but even just on its own. It's only 18 calories per 100 mils as well. So it does say it's crafted for whiskies and rum or to enjoy on its own. So I think I'm gonna love that. And then last but not least in the kind of condiments aisle, I picked up these two things of which I thought I would share with you, the crunchy peanut butter. And then lastly, I got this from a brand called Odyssey, which I've never heard of or seen before. It's a raw honey, but it's pine and fir tree raw honey, which I thought sounded so interesting. I'm gonna try that out and let you know what I think of that because Sounds amazing. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to Asda and I did do a food shop at Asda, pretty decent one. So I put loads of that kind of food away, but I did keep a couple of longer life items out to share with you. Again, some yummy treats. And again, new ones that I've never seen before. Lindor chocolates. They now do this color. It's like a real deep burgundy color in the flavor double chocolate. So I decided to go for the little mini eggs and also the original kind of creamy ones. So, hmm, milk and dark chocolate truffles. I also stocked up on four more of my fave lunchtime, go-to lunchtime snacks, and these were on offer at £2.50 each. So I decided to pick up one of every flavor. This is the basil super salad tuna salad with bulk wheat and lentils. This one's the Harissa spiced one. The Italian tuna pasta salad. I think I've had that one before actually. And the French one. I also spotted that they have a huge new Gino de Campo range in Asda. I don't know if they're in other supermarkets as well. I didn't see them, but Asda I did. And they had it all laid out with all of his things. Some of which I was very tempted for. Like he had like a really nice um, olive oil. I decided to just opt for the gnocchi on this occasion. And I feel like gnocchi is really good because it has a really good shelf life. Like this is good until the end of June. 
and it's fresh as well so yeah i'm excited for this one pound 75 this one was i also grabbed a box of pasta this is the rigatoni um pasta i also spotted this which would work nicely with the pasta and heinz have brought out a new range of jarred um sauces for pasta i opted for the tomato grana padona and mascarpone with no added sugar as well so it's a real creamy cheesy tomato -y pasta pasta sauce and they were one pound fifty i think they were on offer at that price i did pick up a couple of gift bags that they had i just got this hip hip hooray one with the gold foil and this little mini version as well just good to have and then lastly before i show you the clothing items i got from asda i've got a couple of starbucks goods which they stock in there they have loads of more new starbucks products i've noticed in the coffee aisle so i picked up this which i've never had before this is their signature hot chocolate they also had a salted caramel one i also got a big box which they had on offer i think these were 10 pounds for the box or just under and they had all the different blends. I just got the house blend ones. Okay, I got three items of clothing. I could have got so much more. There is an Asda at the Trafford Center, which is an incredible Asda. They've got really good like home and fashion section upstairs. It's like the full upstairs floor. So I recommend that if you're local to Trafford Center to check out that one. They do, I've seen in there before, they've had like secondhand designer pieces like Levi's, Ralph Lauren. I don't know if they still do that or not. They've got lots of branded things in there like in the style as well so yeah it's well worth checking out but anyway i picked up a basic cardi a nice long line cardigan what i loved about this one was the thick rib on the sleeves and also on the bottom as well it's like a big chunky panel of the thick ribbing which i love it's nice and soft it's just open so it's super slouchy good for just leggings t-shirt every day cozy around the house got it in a large at 14 pounds and then i picked up two sweatshirts this one is part of their everyday basics range now they only had one size left which is a large and i do think it looks quite oversized already so i'm going to try it on and see what i think but it was 12 pound 50 part of the um sources responsible cotton range as well it's just a basic kind of sage green sweatshirt it's got a little pocket detail on the front i really like that so got yet again another sweatshirt this time with a big usa print on it's in this gorgeous stone beige color this one is so soft i got it in an extra large again they only had extra larges available i would have sized down from that but having said that i thought i would try it anyways two is the george for good source as responsible cotton 15 pounds usa let me know if you're from the usa if you're watching i do miss living in america um then again i'm a home bird and love england as well although we have had terrible storms lately let me know if you've had any damage or anything we've had three of our fence panels in our garden come down so we're gonna get very friendly with the neighbors until they are back up and yeah just thankfully touch wood with some big trees in our garden touch wood i just want to keep touching wood even though it's my head touch wood fingers crossed we haven't had any further damage i know some people have had it way worse so thoughts are with you if that's the case because especially in london it looks like it's been pretty catastrophic at least on my tiktok anyway when i'm scrolling it's just constant storm eunice and it looks pretty scary out there so anyway moving on now lastly to tesco's tesco's is where i picked up most of the clothing now tesco's for choice on clothing was by far my favorite again when i get to it you'll see the price point it's kind of steep i think personally i don't know if i'm just being tight there but that's just how i feel i've never seen a beige and black loofah mine have always been white i have had one that was like an off-white but this one looks lovely it's from the allison scott range the body polisher and then i also picked up a concealer this is a trusty go-to fave of mine the lasting perfection concealer from collection in the shade number two porcelain who remembers when it was collection 2000 back in the day i still sometimes call it that to be honest with you i also picked up a phone case my phone case that i've currently got on i don't even know where my phone is but it's like a mocha brown but it's quite purpley and i just wanted to switch up i thought i'd go with a plain clear one you can always kind of diy these and create stuff on them 
But yeah, anyway, picked up a new phone case. That phone case, by the way, in case you weren't interested, was six pounds. Okay, then I also got this. I had one, Tom smashed it. <laughs> he likes to do overnight oats in these for his breakfast and when he's in the office and he's out and about, he'll grab it in the morning and go. He was telling me last time he got out the car, grabbed the oats, ready to go into the office, dropped it, smashed it, didn't have his breakfast, and we no longer had the jar. So I picked up another one of those. They're quite affordable. I mean, I should have probably got a couple, maybe. I also got, lastly, from the homeware section, these two items from the Fox and Ivy range. I've had a mug from this range before, and I just think it's so pretty that I decided to pick up another one. I think it makes for a good little matchy-matchy if we're both having a coffee in the morning to both have our matching Fox and Ivy mugs. It's just got an irregular kind of hammered effect white pattern on the front. And then they also do all of the crockery as well. Now I just picked up the side plate for now because I did actually think this would look good as a little tray, a decorative tray, rather than pick up a full set of dinnerware, which I don't need at least right now, maybe in the future when we do our kitchen, I'll maybe get new because we're a bit mismatched at the minute. But for now, um, I just picked up the one side plate. But yeah, how pretty is that texture? I thought with a little candle, reed diffuser on it, even one of the white company, you know, the massive botanical candles that they do. The mug was three pounds, 10 pence, and the side plate was two pounds, 70. Oh, I just couldn't resist these. So, I have a full justification for this. I got for Christmas the White Company ones in the gray, because they didn't have the beige this year. And I do prefer the beige color. White Company ones are lovely. They're so comfortable. I like to keep them as just my upstairs slippers, because if you'll know, if you follow my channel, we're undergoing a renovation period with this property. And it's probably gonna last a while. So I've decided to just, keep my white company ones as my nice luxury upstairs ones and then instead have a bit cheaper ones for downstairs and I do love these I've had them in the past I had them all of last year they lasted me a long time and I only got rid of them really because I got the white company ones but then I was like well let's just get a fresh new pair I'm justifying a new pair of slippers please let me know I'm not alone in loving buying a new pair of slippers these are 12 pounds they are the softest slipper ever they're on par with the white company ones so they are lovely and then i was fully influenced by a lady who was shopping next to me and she said that she owns these and highly recommended she even went wearing one now so i was like you know what i'm gonna go for it so they have these ribbed bra crop top style tops that are quite thick actually they have got padding in which you can remove i also sized up to a large because she did say that they come up a bit smaller so if you're going for comfort go for a size up so i decided to do that and um, this one came with the white and the nude of which i think will be especially the nude my most worn colors 14 pounds and then for the other set of two um it is gray and black so yeah i got them but then i also saw this and thought i would try it because it's just a really nice pretty bra design you know when you want a bit more of a oomph than a just a crop top um it's non-wired as well which i love it's just got really pretty lace design 10 pounds for this bra and yeah they, it just feels so comfy then i got this I'm gonna say set, but it's not a set. They actually came as separates, but they're pretty much in person the same color. And it's a leggings and a sweatshirt set. They did, I think they had matching joggers to these, but I think I'd get more use out of a legging. So I sized up in this one to a 14. It's 15 pounds, just says New York City on. And then the leggings that I got to go with it are a beautiful kind of ribbed knit, super comfy perfect for lounging in legging nice and high-waisted by the looks of things in fact very high-waisted and then i also got these leggings in a size 8 16 pounds i ordinarily would have gone for a 10 they didn't have 10s available but i did kind of pull it off the hanger just to check the stretchability and i feel like these are going to have a lot of give especially on the leg as well like that's the leg they're very stretchy and then i also got this matching set which i thought looked lovely I got the bottoms in a size 10 and they are kind of a cable knit, light gray, a legging, again, really high-waisted. These are 18 pounds. Then the matching top to go with it would look lovely, actually styled up with jeans and stuff as well. It's a high neck or roll neck 
um, kind of cap sleeve knit jumper. It's got a little slit on the side, on either side, and just a really nice matching two piece, I thought. So I picked that up. Again, this is where it starts like adding up really on price point because for £16 and £18, that's getting steep for supermarket prices, I personally think. And then I also got this jacket. It's quite long. I'd probably wear this open with maybe when it's quite cold, a beanie hat, my Ugg boots, leggings, a nice t-shirt underneath or a sweatshirt if it's quite cold or even a hoodie. I quite like a, a, um, a hoodie laid up with a jacket. 30 pounds this one was and it's in a beautiful stone color. It says it's an oversized fit already. I got a size 12 to 14 in that one. And then the last two items that I got from Tesco are both from the Hinch range, both of which are the pajamas. She did have more clothing with them and more homeware. It's quite gray and white, which for me personally, I don't mind in clothing, but for my house, I'm much more of a warmer stone kind of color. So there were a couple of things that I like the look of, but again, the price point of them, I was just like, mm, I don't know. But anyway, the pyjamas feel incredible. And it's more of a lounge set as well. This is like how I imagine going for a nice long dog walk, country pub lunch maybe, or if we're out early, a nice breakfast on the go, and then getting back home, showering, and getting into something like this and just spending the day on the sofa, watching Netflix series in comfy clothes, but feel just a little bit nicer than pyjamas. So this is a three piece set at 34 pounds. And you get in here a vest, which feels super soft. I again sized up in this one, didn't I? 12 to 14. Then the bottoms are just a really nice rib design as is the matching cardigan to go with it. It's very thin, that one. I'm not gonna say lightweight because it feels quite weighty, but it is very thin. So good leading into spring. And then this one feels a little bit thicker. And this again is, is it three piece? It's 26 pounds. I got it in 12 to 14. It comes with a little scrunchie ribbed cream scrunchie which is so cute and then you've got in there the hoodie which is again ribbed and the bottoms are like a gray thicker ribbed almost legging style this one as opposed to a relaxed fit trouser this one feels far thicker and nicer whereas the other one feels thinner but super soft anyway that is everything that i picked up from the supermarket. So let me know what you thought of this kind of combined vlog as opposed to just a dedicated Tesco haul, Sainsbury's haul, Asda haul. I just couldn't wait to share them all with you. So I just compiled it all into one. Let me know your thoughts on that. Thumbs up if you did like it so that I will be sure to do more supermarket content in future. Stay tuned for this weekend where I've got a bit of a shop with me slash day in the life vlog that I'm filming actually today. So you'll see that video on Sunday. Hope you guys enjoy it, especially if you are a fan of the more vlog style content. Otherwise, I hope you have a lovely rest of your week. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you all very, very soon on Sunday. Bye guys.